Hello, I'm Nick from the RNLI water safety team. I'm here with Louise. Hello, Louise. Hi there. Um, we're going to be talking about open water swimming, dipping, um, and what you get up to um, in your free time, uh, and how you enjoy the, the outdoor sort of environment. Um, so maybe just start off with how did that sort of journey into the aquatic environment sort of start? Where did oh, it start? And where well, did you learn to swim? I think I learned to swim. Well, family legend has it that I could swim before I could walk. Um, I was born in Hong Kong and obviously very, you know, very kind of marine environment, access to water all the time and I loved it, yeah. I absolutely loved it and my mum and dad literally, I, I think I could swim before I was three, something oh, wow. really okay. very, very small and I did that classic swimming where you're a little baby and you, you just swim under the water, yeah. come up for a breath. So it's always been part of my DNA, I've a lot always warmer. loved a lot it. Yeah, and obviously <laughs> when you live in Hong Kong, um, it's lovely and warm. So yeah, it was always part of my life. So and what do you think you get out of it the most, that, that sort of dipping, coming out of the water? Is it the when you come out of the water or is it just before you go in, it's a little bit different, a little bit changing oh, environment? Oh gosh. What um, you sort of say? From the, dip, from the dipping the point dipping. of view, yeah. I dread it. Yeah. I mean, I'll be really honest. Yeah. I'm just like, I know it's going to hurt. I know it's going to be take my breath away. Yeah. But, but I know that when I've done it, I'm not sure I really enjoy it while I'm doing it. But when I come out, just the buzz of my whole body yeah. just going, yeah. it's like electricity it for is. me. And yeah. I love that. So that's why I do it, because I know how I'll feel afterwards. But with the dipping, even though my kit is really minimal, I've always got a plan. So I know, for example, where I'm going, that I'm with someone and how long I'm doing it for. And I also know when I get out um, that I've got things that are gonna get me warm or that I'm within a very short walking distance of being home. So that I've always got, I know, where I'm, I know what I'm doing, I've always got a plan And there's someone it. on land, yeah. like your husband, yeah, he's, he's, he's got the mobile phone. Yeah, he's always there. He's either with me yeah. or he's on the bank waiting for me. Yes. Yeah. Um, Entering cold water, you know, can be tricky, um, and we've got to do it correctly. Is there some some sort of tips that you would sort of say what to do, what not to do? Um, I go very slowly. Brilliant. Because I just find <laughs> it's better for me. I mean, you know, people, you know, people probably think, you know, I do Iron Man, for example. Mm. They probably think I'm really tough that I'm going to go splashing straight in. Absolutely no way. You know, it's toes first, knees first, hands in very, very slowly, which kind of, in some ways makes it feel harder, but that's absolutely always the way I would do it. Because it's, I just think it's easing my whole body and my, my head as well into that kind of like, it's gonna be okay, take it slowly, bring your heart rate down and can't go in calmly, but I would never dive straight in. And, and you know, when I'm swimming now at this time of year in the middle of winter and dipping, I mean, gosh, it, you know, I know, even though I do it a lot, it takes my breath away. And I know the only way that I can do that is by doing it slowly yeah. and by kind of, you know, it's not just your physical presence, it's your head, isn't it? You've got mm -hmm. to kind of like be gather aware yourself. of what's going, gather yourself, gather your thoughts, gather your breathing and be aware, be aware of what's of going on. Yeah. Kit and equipment that you'd always take with you. Um, I think it's interesting, isn't it? Because for the dip, I'm definitely really mentally prepared. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and for a long swim, I'm kind of like more physically prepared, so I'd always go with the same kit. Um, so it would be my goggles, which are really important to me because I wear contact lenses and okay. without them I can't see a thing. Um, my wetsuit, um, my, I always wear a really, really bright hat because I'm, if I'm swimming in a river or swimming in the sea or, where, or even swimming in a, you know, a supervised lake, people can see me. And then I would also take my, my buoyancy aid, my little bright floaty that okay, I call yeah. it behind me as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, and I like that because, again, people can see me and people often, you know, will go, oh gosh, you spotted you a mile away, which is absolutely brilliant. And it does mean, if there's any moment when I'm having a slight kind of, when, when I need yeah. to take a breather, I can just stop and Grab take a breather. Yeah. yeah. Um, so before you sort of started that kind of um, dipping, or once you realised you were yeah. a dipper, was there anything that you, you needed to learn or you were told uh, um, to I, the first thing, The first thing I know, I, I know, you know, because I'm a massive fan of the RNLI, okay. Um, so I know about float to live um, and you know because the, the most dangerous thing is that if, if you fall in when you're not expecting it but for example when I'm dipping I you know I know it's one minute 30 gosh that feels like a long time, long time. and I but the good thing is so I practice it and I go in and I go one minute 30 right okay this now I'm okay Actually, and I float I float on my back for one minute 30 and it feels like 20 minutes sometimes but I know how long that is so I know that if I went in 
that's you know it's going to feel like a long time and I think that's a good thing to know because you know then you then you're like okay it's going to feel difficult but that's okay, okay. that's okay that's what it's going to be so I do practice that and um, I also think very much with either the dipping or the swimming what I've learned over many years is my own body and I've got Reynards for example so I know that within two or three minutes I mean even sitting here now my hands are numb but that's normal for me right, so yeah. I know I can swim when the hands are like body, that yeah but I know when I start shivering in the water then that's dangerous so I need to get out I have the plan for when I get out to you know get warm clothes on get home and then I'm very conscious that I don't get warm too quickly yes. So I'll go home, I'll have a cup of tea, I'll take off all my wet clothes, put dry clothes on and layer it up yeah. massive. I mean, my children are always laughing at me. I'm wearing a onesie, I'm wearing a hat, I'm, and I'm starting, you know, so I just try and get warm slowly. And there have been occasions when it's taken me a really, really long time to get warm. And that always surprises me because I'm like, I don't see any difference between that particular swim or whatever, but I just try and take it easy with someone at home and just slowly. If something goes wrong, and, or maybe I see someone in trouble, I mean, the last thing I do is go in and try and help, help myself, isn't it? So what do we do? If we're in trouble, we see someone in trouble. Yeah, it's an interesting one. So we would always recommend that mobile phone in a waterproof pouch. Right. Um, and, and you can make the call, you know, make the call to 999, ask for the Coast Guard, um, and they'll, they'll make the decision, you know, you don't have to, at least they're on their way. Uh, so obviously we're here. Should we, um, we've been looking at it for a while. <laughs> Should we go for a swim? <laughs> Is this your type of swim? I mean, it really is pretty yeah. miserable, isn't it? You've mentioned about swimming out to the boy and yeah. point to point, but we could go dip our toes in and see what it's like. The thing I do, do know is that when I've done the swim, I'm going to feel a million dollars. Yeah. So, okay. but I do feel, you know, it, I, I love, you know, I'm so passionate about open water swimming, but I do kind of look out there and go, really? Yeah. <laughs> Why would we? Why would we get in the cold sea? Yeah. It's that sense of driving away. Yeah. We haven't gone in. So yeah. Yeah. Maybe we should just give it a go. Go on then. Okay.